Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm hanging out with John from Board Shorts TV. He's got something that I've wanted for years but never got, and that's a silver play button. Check it out. Boom, there it is. The idea here today is to take this silver play button to make a mold that we can turn into gummy candies, chocolate, or basically anything that we want. Or buttons. So as long as John is cool with us ripping open his award, no guarantees we'll get this thing back in one piece, but... I've got insurance on it, it's cool. When the bracket screws are removed, you can basically slide the whole top right off, and if we get lucky... Dude! I, I, I touched John's button. Wait a minute. Stop <laughs> touching my button! <laughs> you know what you could do is like modify this into a belt buckle. Wouldn't that be sweet? Like check out my belt buckle. Oh, that would actually be cool. The buckle right there. Yeah, dude, check it out. It works, it works. That would be a cooler belt buckle. I forgot to mention, this is the guy that invented CBX Live in Salt Lake City. Really cool event, and uh, I'll probably be there next year. What John's got here is a plastic called HDPE, that's high density polyethylene. The stuff I have over here is 0 0.02 styrene. This big black sheet here is 0 0.04 ABS, and ABS is supposed to be really good for vacuum forming. To vacuum mold this thing, I already see a problem. We've got these little nubs here, so we're gonna have to take a grinder and shave those off, and then use the belt sander to get all flat. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> really? But I think there might be a way around that, and that's just by using a little bit of dollar store foam board and the styro slicer. Maybe we can push this thing down through, carve around the edge, and have a really clean button to use. Okay, so here's the idea, guys. John's just cut a couple holes in this foam that should accommodate these little rivets there. What's really impressive is you can see it almost lines up perfectly flush. We press this flat, turn on the foam cutter, and we're gonna cut a clean line all the way around this button. All we have to do now is take a sanding sponge and kind of clean up some of these edges to get rid of that jagged styrofoam, and the rest should be pretty easy. We're basically just gonna take the frame for our vacuum former, staple some plastic to it, stick it in the oven, and then stick it on our vacuum forming machine. So I'm not sure what we're doing here. So now we got the styrofoam reinforced. I think this is ready to vacuum form. For that, we're gonna need a vacuum forming machine, but it doesn't have to be something complicated. It could be as simple as this one that I made five years ago. You can see I just hacked it out of scrap wood and some perf board. I reinforced it with duct tape to help keep it airtight. This was inspired by a project I saw by Kip K about five years ago. He did a video for Make Magazine. I got a big old dusty shop vac that I use. This thing is 16 gallons, 6.25 horsepower, so it's got a lot of suck. You can see it takes a bit to get it in there and that's not moving and that's gonna suck all the air through these holes. Grant only cares about the amount of suckage. Okay, so here's the idea. We got our button reinforced. It's gonna go on top of the vacuum former. We're gonna get a little bit of plastic. We're gonna staple around the top, put it in an oven and warm it up until it gets saggy. Then we're gonna flip it over, put it on top of the play button and turn the vacuum on. Well, look, it's already starting to get soft in here. You can see around all the staples, it's starting to wrinkle. You ready, John? Standing by. Ready. Here we go. Initiate suckage. Hey, check that out guys. Take a look at that, John. What do you think? That's beautiful. Take your position. Yay! Nice. Check this out guys. That suction worked out really, really well. It left the play button looking fantastic. If we pull this up here, you can see actually the play button's still stuck in there. I'm surprised the styrofoam isn't melting with how hot that is. But look how beautiful that comes out, guys. Okay, initiate suckage. <laughs> Perfect. That thing is so durable. That's like, what, our fourth mold? Nicely done, John. Woo! Oh. All right guys, we're doing it. We're gonna try the HDPE. It's a little bit opaque at first, but once it heats up and starts drooping, it'll turn clear. This is our first round. Let's see what happens. Huh, how long has that been in there? Kind of? Way longer than the styrene. I wonder if we should turn the temperature up a bit higher. What's the temperature at? Pizza. Pizza temperature? Our HDP has not gone clear yet, but it is sagging down about two inches. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and throw it on the former and see how it does at this state before we push it any further. Initiate sucking. Wow, so HDPE obviously takes a lot longer to set up. It actually sucked the plastic right through the holes there, so we lost a bit of our suction. I thought for sure that foam would have melted. Oh yeah, look at that. It's all like wrinkly on the inside. It's a little bit flimsier too. All right, let's throw on a sheet of ABS as a last experiment and call it good. I can't imagine this stuff is gonna work. Yeah. Oh, droopy okay. crap. Okay, ready? Yeah. And so we were heating this up at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. How Which long did that take? Like two minutes? Yeah, that was quick. I was surprised. Look at that. We got a black play button. 
Check out the other side. Oh yeah. But this is what I love, is I love the texture on the front of that button. Yeah, that's cool. So there you go, guys. That's how to use a few simple materials to vacuum cast your own candy molds at home with styrene, ABS, HDPE. All right, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Big thanks to John for coming out here and sacrificing his silver play button for my cause. John, I promise I will fix this for you at some point in time. But I'm gonna use it to make a bunch more molds first and uh, maybe even try casting some chocolates with them as well. Thanks for having me out, Grant. It's been fun. It's been a blast. And he's got a channel called Board Shorts TV. It's super, super awesome. 500,000 subscribers. They basically have kids tell stories and then they act along to the stories. Well, hey guys, thanks so much for joining us for this experiment. We'll be looking for you in the next project video. Talk to you then.